Now I'm going to show you the unobtainable damage proof sentinel that appears in the mission bait which is given to you by Asuka. Miguel seems to think I'm mistreating him. Still, he's revealed the extent to which Catalina fears your quest for revenge. She has three death squads dotted around Liberty, whose sole job is to hunt you down. Act as the bait and get the death squads to follow you to Pike Creek, where some of my men will be waiting for them. Ah! Now it's unobtainable because when you try to store it in your garage, uh, its properties disappear. So unfortunately you can't keep it, but it's still an interesting inclusion in the game. So anyway, when the cutscene ends, head over to Shoreside Vale, where the cartel squads will be waiting. So just walk up to the first car, it will start to drive at you, so be sure to dodge out the way. And then just by running up the hill a short way will lead you to fail the mission and the cartel will disappear. Now we want them to disappear because they will shoot you otherwise and there's a chance of dying before you can actually steal the sentinel. Anyway, if you've done everything that I did in this video, you'll now be able to go back down and just steal the sentinel like I did. And as you can see, it is damage proof, or as some people would say, crash proof, uh, as long as you don't store it in your garage. So you can actually drive around with it for a while, you just can't save it unfortunately. So I'm just showing you that it is indeed immune to crashes, As you can see, uh, it hasn't taken any damage at all. So I'm just going to show you what happens when you do try to store it in your garage. So I'll just take it over to my Shoreside Vale safe house so you can see. So, as you can see, when the garage door reopens, unfortunately, its powers do disappear. And there you go. So, unfortunately, this one is unobtainable, but it's still fun to drive around in for a while. Thanks for watching.